What's up everybody, Steve here. How is it that the largest online real estate company, Zillow, got it so wrong? A couple weeks ago, I did a video on Zillow halting any further iBuying uh, real estate purchases and in that video I predicted that the reason is the main reason is is probably because they're losing money and that did come to fruition it is the truth um, essentially Zillow um, has about 7,000 homes in their inventory some that they're still in contract to purchase on and uh, they are in a desperate need to basically fire sell these properties even though the CEO says that they're not in a fire sale position it truly sounds like that they are um, and basically some of the research is going on stating that um, basically a lot of these properties are going to be underwater and Business Insider reported majority of its homes in the five biggest mar markets are listing homes and this is after cleaning up and renovating these homes for less and they're putting them on the market for less than what they paid for them uh, they estimate a loss of about 30 million dollars and you know if the market continues to go down in some uh, certain markets obviously that is going to be a greater loss than they're anticipating as well uh, the ceo of zillow his name is rich barton he was interviewed on cnbc i'm going to put a, a link below for business insider the article that they wrote as well as the link for cnbc when they interviewed the ceo of zillow and look the 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 ceo of zillow just can't come out and say you know we're losing a bunch of money on real estate and the real estate market is shifting because if he's got a lot of power in the real estate community of the real estate world and if he were to do something like that it could have devastating con consequences from just one individual talking about real estate in a negative way so he's very cautious in terms of how he's presenting himself in that interview again take a look at that interview below um, in the interview the the gentleman asked is this an omission of a full-scale uh, a mission to not go into that business and um, he really kind of dodged the question and he said that you know there's other people that may have told him that it's not necessarily the best idea to go into this business he said that uh, they're anticipating a 25% layoff and I don't know if it's specifically within that division, within the acquisition division, or if that's across the board, across the entire company, uh, but their stocks have gone down as well. He stated that it's a necessary decision. Being an eye buyer was too risky and too volatile, and uh, they're scrambling to get these homes completed and on the market. So again, they have about 7,000 homes that they have to unload and another question that they asked was um, if he's pitching the 7,000 homes to institutional investors he kind of dodged that question as well I assume he is but I think a lot of hedge funds and other institutional investors are looking at it like why would we even buy this portfolio of homes if you know they are underwater and not necessarily you know buying it at a discounted deal or a fair market deal for that matter um, he said that um, that they're not in a fire sale move that these homes are appreciating and we are in a hurry if anything we are in a hurry to get them closed renovated and on the market again we have a giant like zillow stating that they are trying to unload properties they're not buying any more properties as well so i mean i think some people can look at this and just say you know that's a result of maybe a shifting market market going down anyway let me know your thoughts below and i appreciate every subscriber on this channel i'll see you guys on the next one thanks a lot